Hello again my friends, Reddit user Aerobic Pie bumped into what appears to be a bungee employee in the tower, and when he inspected this bungee guy, he found some very interesting things indeed, weapons with 365 attack stats, and vault of glass armour with 42 light level stats. So then, what does this all mean? Well, let's have a look at this bungee profile in more detail. First up, we see that this bungee guy is rocking the rather tasty and mouthier shader. Now this particular shader can only be acquired as a random reward by level leveling up your new monarchy faction rank. Now this is where things start to get interesting. We also see the SV7 Lightbearer Sparrow in his inventory. Now the Lightbearer is described as a high end sparrow earned by those guardians who prove their worth in the Trials of Osiris. For those of you who don't know, the Trials of Osiris is an upcoming crucible mode set exclusively on Mercury's burning shrine map and offers guardians the chance to earn some exclusive loot. If you'd like to learn more about the Trials of Osiris, click the link in the description box below. Now for some reason, Reddit user Aerobic Pie didn't preview the Sparrow, so we don't get a decent close up of it. But we can see its stats, and they match the Vault of Glass's Timebreaker Sparrow. Now it's worth bearing in mind that this could very well be a placeholder, and that these stats, and even the design for the Lightbearer, could very well change. Next up, we see a Legendary Weapon with a 365 attack stat. Currently, the max attack stat is 331. Now, interestingly, the weapon you see here, Shadow Price, was part of the original Vanguard Quartermaster stock, and its max attack stat was 300. Now, as you can see, I still have my fully leveled Shadow Price in my vault. It's an excellent PvP auto rifle, and I used to use this thing all the time before Hawk Moon entered my life. Now, I love the chance to dust this thing off and put it to use again, and I certainly do that if the max attack stat was increased from 300 to 365. However, again, it's worth bearing in mind that Bungie could simply be using old weapons as placeholders and testing out these new attack stats in preparation for when House of Wolves launches. We'll just have to wait and see. Next up we see Icebreaker with a max attack stat of 347, which seems odd considering the legendary weapons here have a max attack stat of 365. I can only assume that again this is a placeholder stat or that this bungee employee was testing a range of stats with various weapons, but I have to say the very thought of an Icebreaker with a 365 attack stat makes me very happy indeed. Roll on House of Wolves. Next up, Vault of Glass gear with a light stat of 42. Now the current max light stat for armor is 36, allowing Guardians to reach level 32. Armor with a light stat of 42 will allow Guardians to reach level 34, which makes sense. When House of Wolves launches, level 34 will be the new light level cap. However, what's interesting here is that we see Vault of Glass armor with a light stat of 42. And as we all know, currently Vault of Glass armor only has a light stat of 30. Now, does this mean that the House of Wolves will introduce a way to upgrade your old Vault of Glass armor? Or again, is this simply a placeholder? I for one would love to see all the gear we've earned over the past months brought in line with the ever increasing stats that each expansion brings. And of course, more vault space to store them in. So then, what can we conclude from all this? Well, it appears that House of Wolves will increase all weapons max attack stats from 331 to 365, and a new light level cap will be 34. Whether or not old legendary weapons and vault of glass armor will also be brought in line with these new stats remains to be seen. Like I said before, these could very well be placeholders. And could the Lightbearer Sparrow seen in this video hint that Trials of Osiris will drop sometime before House of Wolves launches? I certainly hope so, but again, we'll just have have to wait and see. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe for daily Destiny content and thanks for watching you beautiful bastards. And as always, until next time guardians.